Hi, Neil here. Just thought I'd give you uh, another update on my um, 37 Chevy um, Street Line. I'm at the stage where I'm about to put it all together. But before I do that, I thought I'd show you what I've been doing, where I'm at, what I'm up to. Um, of course, I'm about, um, so I'll take you over to the bench and uh, show you what's um, been going on. Okay. So, okay, here's the um, interior. You can see I've got the um, dashboard in now, and the um, gauges, the steering wheel, a little bit of um, material for the flocking. So that's that. What I've what I've done with this um, model is I've gone and material put material in the um, interior for the um, for a look, as you can see here. As I just had need to take you back, you're a bit close. So as we go back. Well, you can see it there. All the white stuff here that I've done has all been um, material for the headliner, uh, around the windows. As you can see, just see around the windows here. All this down here. It's all been um, done with material. Little pieces of little piece of material like this. All cut out for the headliner. So that's the, that's the um, body of the um, 37 Chevy um, street rod. That in itself has taken a while. That's why I haven't really posted a lot of videos. It's time consuming, slow. I'd rather be um, doing it in flocking, but uh, we don't get flocking here, so that's sort of like a no go um, kind of thing here. So I had to painstakingly do it with material. So I'll um, move on and show you the, um, the seating and basically the interior work. Moving along. Now, here's the um, interior. Now, as you can see, it's done in a two tone. Uh, did it in a nice um, red. Nice red. And red and white theme. Uh, I was going for a red and yellow theme because the car had sort of a yellow scotty flame thing on it, but didn't look right. Not cool. The reason why I do flock these diecast is, um, as I might have told you before, they come in a horrible grey colour. Plus, basically, this die card is diecast. It's basically, I'm using the body only, really. And um, putting my spin on on it really. So I've done the, um, the front seats. Got some um, mats down here. Mats down here. All cut out material. Got the back in. Back seats are in. They're all done. I don't know if you can quite see it, but I have got speakers in. See if I can get you up close. Nah, not quite. You can just see there. Just see in here. We've got the speakers in there. Also, um, so that's been a um, bit, bit of a slow bit of a slow process that's why um, my um, updates have been um, slow in coming because um, I've been cutting out templates and sticking pieces of material on and blah 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 and doing all the other stuff to get this um, done um, plus I'm generally a slow modeler so but um, the interior, just it all looked grey like this. Grey, 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 grey. Luckily, you won't see this when it's all put together. You won't be seeing this. But I've also um, also got the doors done in the same reddish, same red and white uh, pattern. 
You can see down in, in the corner there, there's a, another speaker. Just down in here. Just down in here, got another speaker. The only problem with this kit, it didn't come with any door handles or armrest. So I kind of had to make my own door door handle just by using a piece of scrap um, sprue off the old tree. Just in here. Just in there. And it's not the best um, thing I've done, but um, once in the car, you know, it'll be, it'll be okay. So that's the door hand, that's the um, door panel, which will be going in. Go inside the door, obviously. Which I'm not going to show you. I've also, um, also have done the, um, also done the bottom of, of this as well. Just take you out there, looking a bit close. Smooth it down the way. Yes, I've also um, hold on a minute, guys. I just have to move you. Excuse the camera movement. There we go. You can see it a bit better now. I've also um done the bottom, which in this kit was. On the bottom, which has been quite cool because um, all these pieces here. Hold on, just get my pointer. Sorry for the effing around, but all this stuff here, it all came all pre painted. Don't know if I can give you a close up on that one. We'll try it. Yeah, you can see it there. All these pieces here, along here, they all came um, pre-painted, which I thought was quite good. I had to muck around that. It's um, relatively quite a reasonably good detailed kit, painting-wise. Now, the only problem I have with this is coming in here and trying to, trying to put the um, exhaust in. That's a bit of a pain, but I think we did it. I've also um, got the motor in, so I can show you the motor. Just excuse the camera movement again, please. Whoa, that's a little too far. There we go. Coming on that one. Hold on, excuse me again. I should have really had myself set up here, but I haven't. My bad. Let's hold on a minute. We'll get there. No worries. But as I say, yeah, the motor on this is um absolutely well detailed. It came this way. It came this way. No, um, it came this way. You had to um, glue it together, of course. Like any. Um, this this die cast um, wasn't a clip together die cast. It was all came in pieces and it had to had to be glued. And uh, for a die cast. And as I see, I've come too close. But for a die cast, all this, all this, all this along here, all the carbies, the wiring, and that, that all came um, pre painted. Just a matter of um, sticking it together. The only problem with the um, pre wire, the pre wired um, distributor. It was a um, very soft, soft, um, rubbery plastic and it wouldn't um, bend and stay in shape while I'm putting it in. 
So that was a bit of a pain to do. The um, paramis look very, very nice on top there. Um, the engine block, I don't know if you can see the engine block, but the engine block came this colour, all pre-painted, very nice. So, all in all, it was a very nice um, motor to put together. But, you know, that's the other side. I have got, um, I have got in here, I've got the, um, if I can think what they're called. I can't think of the name, so I won't bother saying it. Um... No, it escapes throttle, throttle linkages is what I'm saying, trying to say. Throttle linkages is what I was trying to say. Very hard to see, because it's the same wall this chrome colour. But, um, yeah, I have got throttle linkages in there and carb and all that sort of stuff in there. Um, so it's all wired. Very... This is an, you know, a motor that um, I'd be quite happily happy to use on any other model, any other plastic model that I'm making. Um, it's a very nice motor. It's one of the nicest motors that I've seen in a diecast for some time. But like I said, this um, diecast is basically I'm using it for the body, the shell, and what have you. So, um... Hopefully they, so that's the, um, that's the 37R Chevy Nomad. That's all, that's the 30, yeah, sorry about all this, yeah, obviously I haven't done a bit of filming for a while, so I'm all, all over the place, so just excuse me on that one. So that's, like I said, that's the 37 Chevy Nomad, we will, um, come back to you. later yeah so that's the 37 um, Chevy Street Ride not the um, 37 Chevy Nomad as I called it previously it's a 37 Chevy Street Ride so that's um yeah that's it all done dusted for this um episode if you want to call it that um hopefully my next um they won't be too far away but you know know me it could be tomorrow it could be later on down the road so um i'll be saying um catch you guys later hope you have a fun day out there in uh styrene land model world youtube so bye for now bye